Tori 8 bit time. Secret diary of Adrian Mole. Yeah. Friday, January 2nd, bank holiday in Scotland, full moon. I feel rotten today. It's my mother's fault for singing my way at two o'clock in the morning at the top of the stairs, at the top of her voice. Saturday, January 3rd. My mother is not doing any tidying up. There has been a slice of bacon between the cooker and the fridge for three days, to my knowledge. Sunday, January 4th. So this, of course, goes back to the 1980s. There was a television program called The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole. Second after Christmas, Monday, January 5th. I, Adrian Mole, score 40%, which makes me a lowly. Tuesday, January 6th, f and new moon. I think I'm turning into an intellectual. It must be all the worry. I will look up f and in my new dictionary. Wednesday, January 7th, nothing. Thursday, January 8th, nothing. Friday, January 9th. I was woken early this morning, Mrs. Lucas is concreting the front of their house. Mr. Lucas made her a cup of tea, he really is kind. And we get Sunday, January the 11th, Radio 4 play about poets and the trenches in the First World War. Monday, January 12th, I, Adrian Moe, school 40%. Stayed in bed until 2pm, Tuesday, January 13th. My mother has got a job doing her rotten typing in an insurance office. She starts on Monday. Mr. Lucas works at the same place. He is going to give her a lift every day. Wednesday, January 14th. There is a new girl in our class. Her name is Pandora. She likes being called Box. So what is this, just a diary? Where's the game? Thursday, January 15th. Almost 30 minutes to write. Friday, January 16th, brought my poem to school. Cho choose one of the following for me. Ah, there's some interaction. Show the poem to Pandora, show the poem to Nigel, or keep it a secret. I show the poem to Pandora. It is geography today, so I sit next to Pandora for a whole hour. Which of the following shall I do? Try indulging in small talk, lend Pandora my blue felt tip pen, tell Pandora about her eyes being the same as the dog's. I go for two. I lend my felt tip pen. I think she appreciates these small attentions. Everybody else in class 3D thinks it's great. Saturday, January 17th, sent a poem to the BBC. I was like, the BBC? Well, BBC was probably better back in the 1980s. Saturday, January 18th. We've got Monday, January 19th. Score 41%. Mr. Doc's lesson is next. Nigel and Barry Kent want me to put the poem on the teacher's table to see the expression on his face. What shall I do? Put the poem on Mr. Doc's chair. Get Nigel to agree to take the consequences or refuse. Ah, uh, put the poem. I put the poem on Mr. Doc's chair where he cannot miss it. When Mr. Doc reads my poem, his face does not change at all. Just asks, who is this? And holds up the paper. Choose one of the following. Admit the poem is mine. Keep quiet. Or blame Nigel. Keep quiet. I keep quiet. The whole class is kept behind for an hour after school. 
Tuesday, January 20th, full moon. No BBC TV tonight, they are on strike, so I'm forced to watch my TV. Wednesday, January 21st, I saw Nigel on the way home. He told me Pandora's father was a milkman. I have gone off for a bit. Thursday, January 22nd, bump into Pandora. Which of the following shall I do? I ask her about her father. It's a dirty lie about him being a milkman. He is an accountant at the dairy. Pandora says she will duff Nigel up. But I am in love with her again. Saturday, January 24th. Mr. Lucas came in this morning to see if my mother needed any help. He's very kind. And we got the Monday. He scored 40%. Nigel has asked me to do a disco at the youth club tonight. It's being held to raise funds for a new packet of ping pong balls. What shall I do? Stay at home, go to the disco, or invite Pandora to the invite. Her. I invite Pandora to the disco. She is already invited by four other boys. Choose one of the following. Investigate it. I investigate the disco. It sounds okay from outside, so I enter for five pence. What a mistake. Five pence. This is the last time I come to a disco. Everybody here is a punk. Which of the following shall I do? Put a safety pin through my ear, watch, or help Pandora to stop it. I help Pandora to stop it. An estate agent's catalogue came through the door today. I have put it in the dustbin before my parents can see it and get ideas. Father wouldn't give me a note excusing me from games, so I was nearly frozen to death. Thursday, January 29th, woke up with tongue ache. I've never heard of anyone suffering from tummy before. Perhaps I will make medical history. What shall I do? Keep quiet about it. Try and talk without moving my tongue. A dismal failure. Not only does my tongue ache more, but my teeth feel funny. Perhaps I have locked jaw. Choose one of the following for me. Book an appointment. Friday, January 30th. My father is in a bad mood. He thinks his big end is going. <laughs> I can remember that happening. Um, in my history. The big end going in the car, that is. Saturday, January 31st. Pandora is going out with Nigel. I think I will never get over this shock. Two PM had two junior aspirants at midday and rallied a bit. Perhaps when I am famous and my diary is discovered, people will understand the torment of being an almost fourteen-year-old undiscovered intellectual. I hope Nigel falls off his racing bike and is squashed flat by a lorry. Pandora, why, Mr. Gray, Doctor Gray wasn't interested in hearing about my tongue ache. He told me off for wasting his time. Tuesday, February 3rd, Wednesday, February 4th, New Moon. Which of the following shall I do? Have a good look at the house, find out where she is going, respect her privacy. Respect her privacy. Thursday, February 5th, swimming today. Friday, February 6th, the Queen's session, 1952. Pandora and Nigel have split up. It's all round the school. This is the best news I've had for ages. Saturday, February 7th. My mother still hasn't worn the Lurex apron I bought her for Christmas. And we get Monday, February 9th. Scored 40%. I've joined a group at school called the Good Samaritans. We go out into the community helping and stuff like that. We miss maths on Monday. I've been put in the old age pensioners group. I will get a cassette so I can take all the old foggy stories about war and stuff. I hope I get one with a good memory. Tuesday, February 10th. The Samaritans met today during break. Oh, it's come off the screen. Thursday, February 12th, Lincoln's birthday. Mr. Lucas was in the kitchen when I came home from school. Why he keeps coming round is a mystery to me. 
Mrs. Lucas was planting trees in the dark. Friday, February 13th, Saturday, February 14th, St. Valentine's Day. Go to see Mr. Baxter after tea. His house is hidden behind a massive overgrown private hedge. I knock on the door, but nothing happens. What shall I do? Go round the house to look in a window, leave or knock again. I go round the house to look in a window. The first thing I see is an enormous massive pulsation creeping up, barking loudly. I run back to the front door and I hear the sounds of bottles being knocked over and a man swearing, choose one of the following for me. Write a note and push it through the door, continue knocking or run off. I write a note and push it through the door. There are sounds of a dog eating it. I am forced to leave. Sunday, February 15th, rained all day. Uh, Monday, February 16th, 48%. Bert Baxter has phoned the school to help complain that I didn't turn up to help him. He thinks it is typical of today's youth. I told Mr. Scruton, the headmaster, what really happened, but I can tell that he didn't believe me. He gave me a lecture on how old people fought for me during the World Wars. Tuesday, February 17th, went to Bert Baxter's. He didn't answer the door. Perhaps he is dead. Wednesday, February 18th, full moon. Thought about Bert Baxter. Which of the following shall I do? Persuade Nigel to go again, go to his house again, or don't go. I persuade Nigel to go. He doesn't like his job looking after kids in a playgroup. In fact, he is as sick as a parrot. Nigel is delighted to swap with me and visit a real old age pensioner. Thursday, February 19th, Prince Andrew, born 1916. Uh, ah, right. Great news, Mars bars have got bigger. Complete opposite of what's happening nowadays, of course. They've been getting smaller. Friday, February 20th, Mr. Aldiri, who lives across the road from us, was drunk at 10 o'clock in the morning. He got thrown out of the butchers for singing. Saturday, February 21st, a very nice man called Brother Ludovic has just called. He was wearing very strange purple robes and had a shaved head. He explained that ordinary clothes and hairstyles symbolise something called spiritual death. The purple people, what shall I do? Ask director inquiries about the purple people. Think hard or tell Nigel. I tell Nigel about the purple people. He says he is not interested in French religions because there is no money in it. Monday, score 40%. Nigel thinks Bert Baxter is great when you get to know him. Nigel says he is big, clean and tidy. Doesn't drink or smoke and is always telling funny stories about the war. It certainly shows that you can't judge by first impressions. Choose one of the following for me. Tell Nigel I'd rather look after playgroup kids. Go to meet Bert Baxter or leave the Samaritans. I leave the Samaritans. I'm going through a religious experience. Brother Ludovic met me out of school. He said that many exams and work are evil. He advised me to give him all my money and not to do my own levels. He also told me not to tell my parents about our conversation. I made arrangements to visit the Purple People's Headquarters soon. The address is 20A Disraeli Terrace. Tuesday, February 24th, woke up, had the type of mystical vision which changes your entire life, went to school, visited Bert Baxter. Wednesday, February 25th, Bert Baxter is not a nice old age pensioner at all. He smokes and drinks beer and has an Alsatian dog called Sabre who has to be locked in the kitchen. He didn't stop growling once. Thursday, February 26th, Nigel got thrown out of school dinners today for swearing at the toad in the hole. He said it was all bleeding hole and no toad. I think Mrs. Leach was right to throw him out after all the first years were present. Pandora has got up a petition to protest about the toad in the hole. Saturday, February 28th, got up early to have a bath, then experiment with a purple bath towel. Toy with the idea of shaving my hair. Which of the following shall I do? Shave half my hair off. Decide not to, or shave all my hair off. No. 
instead of visiting Brother Ludovic, what shall I do? Decide against it. He is clearly a loony. St. David's Day. Today was a dead loss. Monday, March 2nd, score 41%. Nigel's parents are going to London for the weekend, so Nigel is throwing a party on Saturday night for 50 close friends. All guests must dress in a black from head to tail and bring a bottle. Choose one of the following. Ask my mother to buy me a black outfit. Buy a tin of black dye or buy a can of paint. Buy outfit. She refused. Um, buy a can of paint. Paint, plump soles, jeans, etc. and leave on bedroom floor. Return to find dog lying on top of them, unable to move because it is stuck to the paint. Brutalised dog, spend an hour pulling dog hairs off clothes with tweezers. Clothes stiff like plate armour. Shrove Tuesday. Now I know I am an intellectual. Wednesday, March 4th, Ash Wednesday. Postman on strike. We can't get any bills. Thursday, March 5th, Friday, March 6th, New Moon. Red a region of species. It is not as good as the TV series. Saturday, March 7th, Nigel's party was dead disappointing. It finished at 9.30 when a neighbour told the police that black clove devil worshippers had broken into Nigel's house. Sunday, March 8th, first in Lent. He's not allowed out until the black footprints have been removed from the carpet. Ouch. Commonwealth Day, score 42%. The dog has been sent to the beauty shop to have black paint cut out of its fur. Tuesday, March 10th, Prince Edward Board, 1964. Barry Kent has been done by the police for riding a bike without a rear light. I hope he gets sent to a detention centre. A short, sharp shot would do him good. Wednesday, March 11th. It is a pity there aren't more intellectuals living round here. Mr. Lucas wears corduroy trousers, but he is an insurance man, just my luck. Thursday, March 12th. My mother has gone to a woman's workshop in assertiveness training. Men aren't allowed. I asked my father what assertiveness training is. He said, God knows, but whatever it is, it's bad news for me. Then my mother came home and started bossing us around. She said the worm has turned and things are going to be different around here and things like that. Then she went into the kitchen and started making a chart dividing all the housework into three. What shall I do? I agree with my mother's idea. Point out I do a lot anyway or go out and let it blow over. I come back to find the chart pinned to my door. Friday, March 13th, Moon's first quarter. Got up, looked at the chart of jobs on the wall. Choose one of the following. Start doing them. Think about applying to the European court or refuse to do the work. I start doing them. Clean toilet, washed basin and bath, made breakfast, put washing in the machine, went to school, had school dinner, had domestic science, made apple crumble, came home, vacuumed hall, lounge and breakfast room, peeled potatoes, chopped up cabbage, cut finger, rinsed blood off cabbage, put chops under grill, looked in cookery, put for recipe for gravy, made gravy, Strain lumps out with a colander, set table, served dinner, washed up, put burnt saucepans into soak, got washing out of machine, everything blue including white underwear and handkerchiefs, home washing on clothes horse, fed dog, ironed PE kit, cleaned shoes, did homework, took dog for walk, had bath, cleaned bath, made three cups of tea, washed cups up, went to bed, just my luck to have an assertive, no, assertive manner. Saturday, March 14th, Prince Edward in, in newspaper. Sunday, March 15th, woke up this morning to find my face covered in huge red spots. My mother said that they were caused by nerves, but I'm still convinced that my diet is inadequate. We've been eating a lot of boil in the bag stuff lately. Perhaps I'm allergic to plastic. Which of the following shall I do? Ring grandma for help, stay in bed, or do the housework as usual. I'm staying in bed. Monday, score 42%. I am feeling rebellious, so I will wear red socks to school tomorrow. It is strictly forbidden, but I don't care anymore. Anyway, they are the only clean pair I can find. 
Tuesday, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Bank holiday in Northern Ireland and Republic of Ireland. What shall I do? Put on the red socks. Wear only one red sock. Or wear the socks over my shoes. Go for three. If you're going to break rules, you may as well go the whole hog. Miss Sproxton spotted my red socks as I walked in the school door. The old bank reported me to Popeye's scrutiny. He had me in his office and gave me a lecture on the dangers of being a non-conformist. Then he sent me home to change it into regular regulation black socks. Choose one of the following. Return to school in red, or change to black socks, or tell my father. I return to school in red socks. Scruton suspends me for the day. His face matches the socks. Wednesday, March 18th, drag myself to school after doing housework. My mother wouldn't give me a note excusing me from games. The dog must have followed me out of the house because when I got to the school gate, it was there before me. Which of the following shall I do? Try to um, take it home again. Try to sneak into the playing fields without the dog seeing me, or tie it to the fence. I take it home again. Mr. Jones was furious that I missed PE. I was saved from assault because Miss Fossington Gore was passing. Oh joy, oh rapture, Pandora is organising a sock protest. She came out to my house today. Yes, she actually stood on our front porch and told me that she admired the stand I was taking. She is going round the school with a petition. Thursday, March 19th. There is a committee meeting at Pandora's house about the Red Sox. We are freedom fighters for the rights of the individual. Pandora's chairperson, Nigel is secretary, and Claire Nielsen is treasurer. I am not allowed to hold high office because I am the victim of my day. Suggest picketing the school gates. Suggest we all wear red socks. Or suggest we occupy Scruton's office. Going for the socks. I wonder if I could do a workshop on assertiveness training. Friday, March 20th. First day of spring, full moon. Woke up, dressed, put red socks on. Uh, mother stood at the door and wished me luck, felt like a hero, Mount Pandora at the corner of our cul-de-sac. All of us were wearing red socks. Pandora's were lurex. We sang we shall not be moved all the way to school. I felt a bit scared when we went through the gates, but Pandora rallied us with shouts of encouragement. Popeye Scruton must have been tipped off because he was waiting in the fourth year clock room. He didn't speak, just nodded upstairs. All the RSVPs trooped upstairs. My heart was beating dead loud. We waited outside his office while Mrs. Clara Coates, his secretary, typed a letter for each of us. We've all been suspended from school for a week. Pandora's parents are complaining to everyone they can think of. Saturday, March 21st. My father has got the flu. I'm not surprised with the diet we get. My mother wants to go out in the rain to get him a vitamin C drink. But as I tell her, it's too late now. It's a miracle we don't all get scurvy. Choose one of the uh, following. Bravely venture out into the rain. Try to persuade my mother to stay indoors or let my mother go. The chemist has changed it into a drugstore. It is full of nappies, baby foods and health biscuits. But no drugs. I ask an assistant where they are, but she just gives me a funny look. At last I find the flu medicines. They are on some narrow shelves in the corner. Which of the following shall I do? Choose a cheap powder called lemonade. Choose some time pills called cold comfort. Or choose a lipstick called nose nurse. I choose a cheap powder. It only costs 45p so I will make a profit. The assistant is whispering to the checkout woman as I go to pay. They probably think I am noble to go shopping on such an awful day. Sunday, March 22nd, British Shire Time begins. My father is still lazy about in bed. He is supposed to be ill, but I notice he is still smoking. Score 42%. The Red Sox Committee has voted to compromise with Scruton for the time being. We will wear red socks underneath our black ones. This makes our shoes tight, but we don't mind there is a principle involved. I have found a word in the dictionary which describes my father. It is malingerer. He is still in bed guzzling vitamin C. Tuesday, March 24th. Just my luck, I've got a pimple on the end of my chin. 
Thursday, March 26th, the spot on my chin is getting bigger. It is my mother's fault for not knowing about vitamins. What shall I do? Put a plaster over the spot, put Suflon on the spot, or scratch it. Doesn't do much good. Friday, March 27th, the spot is itching like that. Saturday, March 28th, Gordon called today. Someone has reported me for trying to buy drugs. The policeman explained how dangerous drugs are while my parents looked at me suspiciously. I could tell my mother was dead worried. She lit two cigarettes at the same time and didn't complain when my father's beer can sprayed the carpet. I denied everything. Sunday, March 29th, Mothering Sunday, Pandora says, I will have a criminal record on the police computer. She is getting up a petition about it. She comforted me emotionally behind her father's tool shed, so the day was not all bad. My mother has arranged what she called a civilised meeting for tomorrow. Mr Lucas is going to be there. I am going to listen at the door. Score 43%. Squeeze the spot. It seems to go away. Score forty three percent. That's the end of this part of the game. So this game comes in four parts. So that's part one of four. And taking about half an hour to get through part one of the secret diary of Adrian Mole. I do. Um, yeah, I've got memories of it from the nineteen eighties. And this is on the Atari eight bit. And see you next time.